Did you know that roughly half of all web traffic is from automated bots? Even more shocking is the fact that the majority of this bot traffic is from bad bots, which are bots programmed by bad actors to run automated, repetitive tasks with malicious intent. And they're becoming more sophisticated to mimic human activity. Hi, I'm Michael, and today I'm excited to demo our new AWS Bot Control for Targeted Bots feature release with AWS Web Application Firewall, or WAF. AWS WAF is a managed service that sits on the perimeter of your AWS environment and helps protect your web applications from security risks that can cause you significant downtime or to consume excessive resources. This AWS WAF feature release is a new tier of bot control that provides an extra layer of security for sophisticated target bots that are programmed to specifically evade detection and target critical enterprise applications, such as e-commerce, retail, and financial services websites. AWS Bot Control for Targeted Bots builds on our existing AWS Bot Control for Common Bots that provides enterprise protections against common, less advanced, bad bots. Some examples of common bad bots would be spam bots, scrapers, and fake social media bots. With AWS Bot Control for Targeted Bots, customers can easily enable advanced bot detection techniques, such as browser interrogation, fingerprinting, and behavioral analysis to protect against targeted bot attacks. AWS Bot Control for Targeted Bots creates intelligent baselines and automatically applies mitigations such as dynamic rate-based limiting when anomalous access patterns are detected without the need for users to configure these thresholds. So let's now take a look under the hood and see how easy it is to get started with AWS Bot Control for Targeted Bots. So we're here inside the WAF console and we'll show the process for creating a new web ACL that makes use of the targeted bots rules and shows how to use the new challenge action as the response to a matched custom rule. We've gone ahead and started creating the web ACL for this demo and given it a name and we can now go select next. To add the new target bots rule, we'll go under add rule here at the top of the screen and we will select add managed rule groups. If we expand out AWS managed rule groups, we will have bot control listed near the top of the managed rule groups. This group now has two subcategories, which includes the previous functionality of bot control, which is now labeled as common and the new rules under targeted. To add this managed rule group, we will click on add to web ACL and edit to go deeper into the configuration. Once in the configuration menu, we have the option to select either common or targeted. Choosing common limits our rule selection to the previous bot control rules, which are limited to using static request data analysis to identify bots. Selecting targeted exposes the new rules for targeted bots, as well as the rules for common bots. Under targeted, we now have these four new rules, which we will walk through in more detail. The first rule is the targeted volumetric IP token absent rule. This rule monitors a client for five or more requests that are missing a valid challenge token. And after the threshold is eclipsed, the default action is to challenge the client to create a token, which requires the client to run some JavaScript to complete. And if this is successful, an encrypted token is stored within the client's session cookie. Clients that fail the challenge are blocked. This challenge also allows us to collect additional information about the browser making the request that we can use to evaluate how likely it is to be a bot. This also gives us a unique ID that is associated with the device making these requests that will stay constant across new sessions and new IP addresses that could be used for evasion of bot detection. The next rule is the targeted volumetric session rule. This rule is used to inspect for abnormally high request volumes coming from a particular client. And this is based on a comparison to a baseline of normal levels of user request traffic that ADS WAF intelligently maintains using historic traffic patterns for this particular application. The default rule action here is to send a CAPTCHA to the client to make it prove that it is human. The next rule is the targeted signal automated browser rule. 
This rule is used to match against characteristics of known automation frameworks that are often used to build bots. Some examples of these are Selenium, Puppeteer, and PhantomJS. This is done using the additional data we're able to collect from the challenge action. The default action here is to respond with a CAPTCHA. And last, we have the targeted signal browser inconsistency rule. This rule uses that same additional data set from our challenge action collected from the client to look for inconsistencies between what the user agent for the browser is claiming to be and the actual capabilities of the browser that may or may not line up with that claim. So the browser might claim, for instance, that it is a Chrome browser running on a Windows machine, but perhaps the capabilities of the browser that we detect tell a much different story. If this is detected, the default action here is to throw up a CAPTCHA so that the bot has to prove that it is human. So now that I'm done with my edits to my manage rule group, which in this case are just manual overrides to the default actions that are the same as the default action itself, I can click save rule below. And with that completed, we can scroll down to the bottom of the menu and select add rules to add our new selections into our web ACL. Now we'll take a look at how you can add this new challenge action to your own custom rules. So click on add rules and add my own rules in rule groups. If I scroll down to the actions menu below, I can see that I can now select the challenge action for my custom rule. So the new challenge action doesn't have to be used only with the manage bot control rules. What this does is allow me to create my own set of rules for detecting when I want to send a challenge to a client. Maybe for my application, it's when I see a request coming from the IP of a cloud hosting provider, which I don't expect to be a consumer of my application, or from a specific region of the world that I'm not targeting with my business, or hitting a specific URI on my application that I know tends to be targeted, or some combination of all these factors together. I can also manually set the immunity time, which is how long a client, after it has successfully completed the challenge request, is immune from getting another challenge sent to them. The default here is five minutes or 300 seconds, but can be extended up to three days. In this video, we explore the behavior of targeted bots and how AWS WAF's bot control for targeted bots feature enables advanced security at the edge to block sophisticated bots before they reach your application or website. We also demoed how easy it is to enable bot control for targeted bots. Please check out the links in the description to learn more, and thank you for watching this feature demo video.